guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so i just wanted to make a quick video on just something that i do at the moment basically when i post a card and it has to go international so i live in the uk a lot of my followers and supporters are from the states or from france or something like that so anytime i make a card and i have to send it to them it was costing quite a bit now i try and find the way of making it a cheap option for myself because as much as i like you know sending cards and stuff sometimes it's just not feasible um and weird thing is is i just don't understand the logic with my postal company so i like i said i'm from the uk so our main postal service is called royal mail you may have heard of it and basically for the last couple of years anytime i've wanted to send a card it has cost me four pounds sixty so my card is a six by four inch card base it literally doesn't even weigh like more than 20 20 grams so for some reason they were still classing it as a large letter for some reason i don't know why unless it's something to do with the other side so when it gets to the states they class it as a large letter on that side but basically it was costing me £4.60 each time I wanted to send a card to the states or to France or to Italy or to Spain anything like that it was costing me that and you know if I have like let's say I have 10 cards to send you know where's my calculator say if I have 10 cards I want to send to the states it's going to cost me £46 just to send 10 cards out. Now, in a year, I probably send around 50 to 60 cards to the States. That is £276. So, that is literally like half a month rent in the UK. So, anyways, I went to my local... Royal Mail, so I have the Royal Mail post office in my my town, which is Great Harwood. Um, I'll show you a picture of what my, my hometown looks like. That way you guys get an idea of, you know, what it looks like. Send me the images. So this is my, my local post office here. You can see it's a very small post office. It's not very big. Then we have one which is in Rishton, which is like a 10 minute walk for me. Then we have one in Accrington. Our main distribution though is Blackburn post office. So Blackburn post office, there's actually two post offices in Blackburn. So there's the main one for, this is where it used to look like. It used to be underneath the the mall um and then since then they've moved which is when things have started to become really weird for me so i went into this one and again it still cost me four pounds sixty to send my card when they opened so this is the new one it's now like on the main road it's not costing me four pounds sixty it's been costing me two pounds fifty per card even though they're the same way, the same location, same everything, it's been costing me that. And I just don't understand the logic of it. I really don't. So, like I said, it's just a weird thing. So, post office, depot. So, as you can see, we also have, like, the main, main depot. So, if any of our, like, post goes back to Royal Mail... Um, and we need, like, ID and stuff to collect it, then this is where we have to go. Um, but it's just really weird. So, I emailed Royal Mail, they got back in contact with me, and they said it's something to do with the licensing. So, if it's a post office that is actually opened by Royal Mail themselves, it tends to be a cheaper postage rate. Whereas if it's a small business, like, somebody's, like, par partnership with it, it'll cost more. Now, I didn't know that. So, this is what I need to start buying more often. 
So as you can see, it's a two pound fifty for twenty for <laughs> for international Royal Mail. Um, so for twenty five of these, it's going to cost me sixty two pounds fifty. But compared to like, say if I was there you go. So if I was to buy twenty, my normal postage, it would have cost me one hundred and fifteen pounds for twenty five stamps, compared to the sixty two pounds fifty I should have been paying. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. So if any of you guys are from the UK and you send cards internationally and it's been costing you a fortune, double check with your Royal Mail service. See if their their store is partnership with somebody else because if it is it generally means you're going to start paying more for certain items and if not and it's a legitimate just straight up royal mail service it's probably going to cost you less but also make sure you just ask them for standard or mail shipping and you should get this so i hope that helps you guys let me know down in my comments if you guys have had similar experiences one thing i know or don't understand is I know when I get a card from somebody from the States they have US global stickers on no I'm not stuck sticker so let's see if I can find the picture of the one I'm thinking of my internet might just go off now though okay so this is what generally comes up every time I get a card, something similar to this. And I just don't understand like why the UK doesn't have something very much similar. You know, it really does not make sense to me. But there you go. So like I said, I hope this helps anybody that's been, you know, getting overcharged for their postage because like I said, like I actually counted from when I first started getting into card making to last year, in total, I spent over just short of £965 on postage for stuff, for cards, for all throughout the year to the States. Um, I actually had a card, though, that went to um, Australia and Spain, and for some reason, they only cost me £3.75. So again, I really don't understand what that was about, but there you go. So anyways, I'm going to go, guys. I hope you guys found this helpful. Like I said, let me know down in my comments if you've had similar situations, um, if you're in the UK. And if you're in the States, let me know, does a standard card size change when it goes overseas? Because if so, that might have been the reason for it, but otherwise, I still don't understand it. But anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.